For the second time in five days, Tua Tungavailoa had a scary-looking injury. This time he was taken off on a stretcher and transported to the hospital. In the second quarter, Tungavailoa went back to pass and Cincinnati defensive lineman Josh Tupo got to him. Tupo flung Tungavailoa down and he hit the ground hard. Tungavailoa stayed down and the Amazon Prime video cameras showed his fingers were locked in what looked like a fencing response. Tungavailoa hit the ground with his left elbow, back and back of his helmet. He stayed down for minutes with players from both teams showing concern. A stretcher was brought out for him, and he was immobilized on a stretcher before being taken off. Amazon Prime Video reported during the game that the Dolphins said Tungavailoa suffered head and neck injuries and he was taken to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. On Sunday, Tungavailoa briefly left a game against the Buffalo Bills when he collapsed after a hard hit. The team said it was a back injury and Tungavailoa played the entire second half, though the NFLPA initiated a concussion investigation. Tungavailoa, who was off to a great start this season in leading the Dolphins to a 3-0 record, was replaced by Teddy Bridgewater. I've never seen anything like that, the way the hands went, former NFL tight end Tony Gonzalez said on the set of the Amazon Prime video broadcast at halftime. We've all played a lot of football and that's one of the toughest scenes I think I've ever seen," said Ryan Fitzpatrick, a longtime NFL quarterback who was also on the Amazon Prime Video halftime set.